morning student i am ravi l head department of journalism and mass communication today i am giving special lecture on communication the scope feature and types of the communication about the seven c's of the communication and also so the impact of the communication in modern world so let us discuss about some of the points of communication so before going to the topic of communication so what do you mean by communication here communication has been a instinct of our life so in fact without communication the creatures of the world or the creatures of the earth cannot live which means any creatures of the world in a global level should have the communication communication doesn't mean that approach or convey the information by means of using the some of the media or the channel from sender to the receiver but in fact the communication is a social process it is a fundamental and vital to the human survival so as we know that our society in a global level need communication so today of course you might have know that the electronic media are having the so much of impact in a information age today's age is going to be called as information age what do you mean by information age here the common man may be the illiterate or literate gain the knowledge through the communication by using the electronic gadgets so totally the citizens are well aware of using the electronic gadgets for the sake of getting the information from the different sources so why we need the sources of information in a different levels because today's citizen are very interested to know what's happening in the society through the different electronic gadgets that is communication here so so as we know that the communication is a not new to the world the communication has been derived from the latin word called as communis which means share or maybe the impart or maybe transmit the communication is a sharing the information from the one level to the another level or transmit the information from one person to the another person maybe by using the different medium thus the communication is a means of conveying the information not only the information but also the ideas thoughts opinions feelings emotions etc etc so communication is a means of 
breaking down the barriers of the human integration. That is the main ideology of the communication. Communication is means of mutual understanding between the public. Communication implies the sharing the information and attitude behavior from one person to the another person. So that is communication here. So communication always requires at least three elements here. So what are all the three elements of the communication? That is the sender, message and receiver. So when the social interactions involves in the transmission of the meaningful thought may be not restricted to the written or oral communication system. You can use the gestures, postures, body language, symbols, signals, semantics and semiotics. So communication is an exchange of ideas in a meaningful manner between the two persons. The classifications of this communication has been made by the scholar Harold D. Laswell who says that the communication is who says what, in which channel and in what effect. It is an opinion that the communication has been defined who says what, in which channel and what effect. So it attempts that communication need the source, message and also the destination. The so broker, a well-known communicationist, the scholar, mathematician who defined communication in his own way that communication is anything which is conveys meaningful information to the destination. He says that communication means it should be the meaningful one. The information should be the meaningful one which, which can be reached by the receiver. So, communication is nothing but get your message hard without damaging the relationship. So when you are doing the communication with others, maybe in person or maybe in a group or maybe in a business or maybe in a mass media, your information should be the understandable by the receiver and without damaging the relationship. That is communication. That means you should know how to talk, when to talk, and what to talk in all circumferences. The communication is the bridge between the confusion and clarity. Why you need communication? Because it is a bridge between the confusion and clarity. So the good communication is a key to your success. As we say that a good communication is a key to your success. Let us assume the process of the communication. The communication involves creating and sharing the information or message between the people. As we already know that. To reaching the common understanding 
and ideas and concept may be the person to person may be for the small group may be in a <coughs> business organizations may be used in mass media that means in a various levels or kinds the communication has been used in our society so this we are going to see it in the types of the communication so coming to the process of the communication the process of the communication is a interact with the people communication is nothing but the interactions with the people in a common form where it can be had through the different levels maybe the different mediums like speaking writing gestures body language oral or maybe call it as a verbal and non verbal communications the means of the communication maybe the spoken or written or maybe the verbal or non verbal which involved the expressions of your thought feeling and emotions so as we know that the communication should have the sender who you may be call it as a source here then after was the message and the destination person who receives the message is going to be called as a receiver so in between source message and receiver the source that means sender is going to encode the messages encoding here means he is going to decide that means decision making by the source person or the sender what to send the messages that means the decision making or taking clarification of his message or her message is going to be called it as encoding here that means sender is going to encode the messages and send the messages through the different medium here medium is going to refer it as a channel on what channel sender is going to use for transmit the messages to the receiver then the receiver receives how the receiver is going to receive the messages through the decoding the messages so the sender decide the messages to be transmitted and the sender is encode the messages the sender select the approach channel of communication then the receiver receives the messages by decoding the messages and receiver is going to provide the feedback that is going to be called as effect or response of the communication system if the receiver is not going to give the response or the feedback to the sender then the communication is not going to be fruitful it is going to be called as a unsuccessful the process of the communication is going to be succeed only the sender when he gets the feedback this is going to be called as a process of communication the channel of the communication what the sender is going to use for transmit the messages may be the oral may be the verbal or non verbal whatever the channel may be used by the sender so now the types of the communication as we know that the communication having different types of the communication that is 
in a one part the communication has been divided into two different branches of the communication system that is the verbal and non verbal communication so in a verbal when we talking about the verbal communication the verbal communication is further classified into visual and oral communication visual communication may be the written form by using the text and the oral form may be the spoken languages that is a oral communication so in a non verbal communication as we know that we are not supposed to use the spoken language that is going to be called as a non verbal communication in a non verbal communication also we are having the two different branches that is the visual and oral so visual non verbal communication refer to the pictures cartoons images maybe the symbols so these are all the body languages maybe the body languages and also other may be referred as a visual non verbal communications so visual oral non verbal communication may be the wordless sound what you are going to hear the sounds that is oral refer to the non verbal communication system so in a communication system we are going to use the appropriate non verbal behavior to it is not restricted you have to use only the written format or a speaking words or oral format communication is going to be fruitful or successful even through the non verbal behaviors also the skill of good communicator need that how to speak and how to write the clarity of the speaking languages is most important for the communicator and for the receiver it is uh, listen carefully what the sender is going to give our speech or send the messages in a oral format listen activity is also most important for the communicators maybe the sender or maybe the receiver so after receiving the message after clarifying the message that it is the responsibility of the receiver to give their feedback rather than this the non verbal communication may be the eye contact may be the body languages gestures postures etc so now coming to the point of other things so how the communication should be effective so how we are going to improve our communication skills so if we want to improve our communication skills we have to follow the seven c's of the communication the seven c's of the communication are applicable to both written and as well as the oral communication awareness the seven c's of the communication which gives and which affects the communications in a fruitful manner that is the seven c's which needed for the communications means the clarity consideration conciseness completeness concreteness correct courtesy and correctness so we can see one by one 
first one is the clarity if you want to send the messages the clarity implies on the specific message should have the goal at a time when you are sending the messages you should have the goal you means here sender the clarity results to make understand easier for both communicators the complete clarity may brings thoughts ideas and enhance the knowledge of the communicators and also the clear message or the exact matches sent by the receiver is very easy to give the response or the feedback by the receiver that is the clarity here the clarity is most important for a person who are going to do the communication next one is completeness as you know that the complete message is most important here when you are sending the messages you should send the messages in incomplete don't send the messages incompletely send the messages with the completeness a complete communication develops and enhances the reputation of the person or maybe the organization society as a whole a complete communication always gives additional informations which has been required by the receiver the complete communication helps to take the decision making by the communicators it is clearly understood by the receiver maybe the organization institution or a person or a trust or a society whatever may be the receiver at the end as a destination the destination or communicators should receive the complete messages then only the communication is going to be fruitful then another third one is the conciseness the conciseness means worthness with the wordness what you are going to use the wordings when you are communicating you should use the simple words which can be understood by the receiver and what to say how to say is depend upon what are all the words you are going to use in a communication system that is conciseness the conciseness may be defined in terms of kiss here what do you mean by kiss here keep it in short and simple sentence that is conciseness so next comes the concreteness as you know that concrete the concrete means here the communication will strengthen the confidence of the receiver as well as the sender the concreteness refer to the how strength your communication is it supports the specific fact and figures the statistical report if you are sending the statistical report it should be the form it should be the correct it should be strengthen the receiver maybe the logical or analogical data so it makes use words are clear to build the sentences the what the sender is going to use the words when he or she forming the sentences it is a mirror which gives the reputation of the senders that is the concreteness then the fifth one the fifth seven c's of the communication skill is courtesy the courtesy means 
message should show the sender's expressions the feelings emotions empathy here towards the receiver on a different circumferences always the courtesy implies taking into the consideration of the receiving view points here always the courtesy as message should be the positive in nature but bear in mind it is not to be the blessed then the correctness the correctness in communication implies when you are sending the messages after forming the sentences you should be very careful about the grammar the correctness means here you are going to correct the sentence wordings spellings when you are disseminating the information through the written form so check it again and again when you are disseminating the information in a communication system then last one of the seven c's for the effective communication is consideration consideration implies stepping into the shoes of the others what do you mean by stepping into the shoes of the others means the effective communication must take the audience into the consideration it is going to be considered by the speaker here speaker refer to the sender the speaker has to judge the audience view point the background and also the mindset of the audience always a speaker considered the atmospheral circumferences of the mindset of the audience so these are all most important element which are necessary for the effective communications both for the sender as well as the receiver so what are all the different pools which are important for the success of the communication maybe the ideas of the success if you want to bring the success in your career by communication system you should follow these elements that is so live your life so be yourself in nature when you doing the communication be yourself in nature and play hard in a difficult situation believe and achieve something in your goal attitude is everything in a communication system just to do it as even mind permit failure is not always it is an option in a communication system refuse to lose if you are in a unsuccessful manner and so don't worry and be happy when you are doing the communication don't worry and be happy so next coming to the verbal communication so verbal communication is a process of communication sending the messages through the words the word is a unit of the languages 
that carries the meaningful manner consisting the phonetic value of the language that is going to be called as a verbal communication the verbal communication having the different two angles may be the written or oral you are using the languages sir, to share your opinions to share your thoughts ideas emotions or feelings so non verbal communication is a process of communication through the sending and receiving the messages in a wordless messages what do you mean by wordless messages here that is through the gestures postures body languages signals etc so visual communication then coming to the visual communication it is going to be convey the ideas and information through the visual format maybe the videos maybe the images maybe the photographs maybe the books etc the oral communication is a conveyance of the ideas and information in the form of listening or spoke spoken words the verbal communication may be the written the formal letters emails chattings by using the words and also may be the informal letters text etc so verbal communications should have the speak clearly adapt to the suit of audience through the eye contacts etc so there are different forms of the communication as we already learned maybe the verbal communication or the oral communication or non verbal communications in a verbal communication we are using the languages vocabulary content structure tone grammar spellings punctuation capitalizations in a different languages in a written format so in a oral communication we are having the language vocabulary content structure tone sentence and fluencies so in a non verbal communication we should have the body languages gestures eye contact facial expressions tone volume pitch and also the appearance so in a communication system it is most important that the speaking when you are doing the oral communication system you should know how to speak and what to speak so here the content of the speak is most important and when you are taking the decisions of the content where you are going to disseminate the information to the communicator he should be the brainstorming here brainstorming means you are going to take the decisions in your mind what to convey through the oral or through the speech that means how you are going to present your speech so how to speak here also most important that means how speed you are going to convey the messages to the receiver or the audience so how clarity you are going to communicate with the audience and also the fluency is most important when you are expressing your feelings so in a listening format when you are listening in a communication system you should maintain the eye contact when you are having the face to face communications and don't interrupt in a transaction or in a process of the communication in middle and always build the rapport with the persons where and whom you are going to communicate so after communication system then you are going to clarify your doubts and don't make assumptions in a communication system when you are listening 
and afterwards you may ask the questions. So in a non-verbal communication, as I already told that eye contact, facial expression, gestures, postures, body language, proximity, and also the other thing which has been referred as a non-verbal communication system. So there are many barriers of the communication. So let us discuss about the barriers of the communication here. So barriers means in a communication system where the interruptions or difficulties is going to be happened in a communication process that is the language. Language is one of the barrier. Then afterwards the sound or noise which can break the messages whether in a listen format and some of the values and beliefs also makes the barriers for the communication. Then afterwards genders, genders and age and economical status, educational level, physical barriers, attitude, timing and also the understanding the messages. These are all some of the barriers of the effective communications. So now coming to the next chapter that is the levels or kinds of the communication. So there are five different kinds of the communication. The first one is intrapersonal communication. The second one is interpersonal communication. The third one is group communication. Fourth one is organizational communication and the fifth, the most important one is mass communication. So let us discuss about one by one. First we can start with the intrapersonal communication. What do you mean by intrapersonal communication? The word itself indicated that the communication system which can be happened or communicate internally by the individual or by a person. The internal communication system which has been happened individually in person. The individual becomes the sender as well as the receiver in intrapersonal communication. The intrapersonal communication which envisages the thinking, decision making, clarifying and also some of the attitudes and behavior which can be residue on the minds of the receiver as well as the sender. Here the receiver and sender is both are the individual himself or herself. Talking to themselves talking to himself or talking to herself is going to be called as an intrapersonal communication. There is no other person. There is no feedback. There is no receiver. So for example, you can think it yourself what to wear today, what to eat today. You can decide yourself in your mind. That is the thinking capabilities or decision making is most important in intrapersonal communication. Next one is interpersonal communication. So interpersonal communication, here the word itself indicating that the inter between two persons or between two or three persons, the communication between two or three persons is going to be called as interpersonal communication. The communication are occurred between the individuals by using the different channels. Here in a communication system, they can share their opinions between themselves. They can give the ideas, opinions, thoughts, which can be imparted or shared between the two or three persons. That is going to be called as 
interpersonal communication. Then comes the group communication. So as you already know that, what is group here? So about 3 to 12 persons who are assembled in a place is going to be called as a group here. So group referred to the communication that occurs between the 3 and 12 individuals who are assembled in a one place. Maybe call it as a small group. That is going to be called as group communication. In a group communication, there may be the interactions, debate, discussions, decision making, problem solving. Everything has been occurred in a communication system. That is the group communication. For example, a group of individuals, they are taking the decisions on their own project. They are going to decide what to do the project, how to do the project. They are mutually exchange their thoughts, ideas, opinions. That is group communication here. Then comes the organizational communication. The organization is a open system of the communication in our society. Organization may be referred to the any trust, any industries or any institution, maybe the local bodies, maybe the public or private sector. So organization communication means the communication which can be happened within the system of the organization. That is going to be called as organizational communication. The collective of information by doing the, by operating the administration system, by calling the interviews, by circulate the circula circulars, memos, orders within the organizational system where you are going to convey the messages who are the employees or the individuals who are recruited in the organizations. Maybe the supervisor, managers, directors or laborers. So mutual thought has been exchanged between themselves in the organization. That is going to be called as organizational communication. Organization is a collective system of individual who commonly through the hierarchy or of their own rank they are exchange their feelings, thoughts, emotions, ideas and they are always follow the rules, norms and regulations of the organization. So it is a knowledge based system, organizational communication is a knowledge based system where the information, the facts and figures of the information may be appeared or may be circulated within the territorial or bound, territorial boundaries. The limitation is going to be the boundaries here. In a good communication system, it should be the positive and it should be the very effective in the organizational communication system. So then comes the last one is mass communication. So the word mass, as you know that the meaning of the mass means it is a heterogeneous, the large, the bigger scale. The mass here refer to heterogeneous audience the large scale audience. The mass communication is referred to the mass media. In other words, we may call it as a media. That is a channel which has been used for the mass communication. Maybe the broadcast media, maybe the print media, maybe the electronic media, electronic media, divided into different branches of the electronic media, maybe the radio, television or the internet or some of the networking systems. 
So by using these, the messages has been transmitted by using these channels or these mediums. That is the mass communication. The information has been disseminated by using the different channels that is a mass media to the heterogeneous or large audience of the society. In print media, we can take the examples of the newspapers and magazines where the information has disseminated by means of the news to the large audience. Maybe the journals, magazines, etc. When we refer to the broadcast media, the radio is one of the best examples of the broadcast media where the information has been broadcasted to the heterogeneous audience. There are many programs which has been broadcasted to the amplitude modulation or frequency modulation that is FM or AM amplitude radios. Then afterwards coming to the telecast media that is audio visual communication media. The best example of audio visual communication media is a television. So now the television has made so much of impact on the literate as well as illiterate persons because it is a visual medium of convey the informations. It is a mode of communications. So then afterwards electronic media as you know that nowadays in an information age there are a lot of information has been disseminated through the social sites. Maybe the WhatsApp, email, blogs or many other medium, the channels. So mass communication is a process of delivering the information, ideas, attitudes to the large audience. That is the mass communication here. The much importance to the mass communication today for the effective communication to build the development society with a progressive society we need and the mass communication is playing the vital role in all the development aspects at all times in at all levels. Understood? That's all folks. So we will meet you in the next special lectures with the next topic. So have a nice day. Thank you very much.